So right here is a sheet of what we need. So uh, first you want to get uh, gummy bears. Let's go. Uh, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna... Okay, it's right here. Gummy bears. All right, that's one gummy bear. Cocoa powder. Is this supposed to be meant for cooking? We could use it for cooking, right? This one? This is powder, right? You think this is enough? Should be, right? It's more than enough. Right? Flour. We need flour. This one's two sixty-nine. Okay. Uh, we'll be safe now with that. What now? Uh, pow baking powder. Baking powder. That's enough. What else do we need? Buttermilk. Right here. Yeah. Only one left. Reduced fat. How do you even get the other one? This one's good enough. So here's all the items. It's not too much to buy. Just need the right items. And uh, we got enough of these, so uh, we should be good. So, good evening. Today is Saturday night, and right now isn't a video that I want to do. It's actually a history project, and the goal of this project is to bake a cake, and it's not just about baking a cake. It's a little bit about making a World War II trench. And the thing is, since we have so much time, we were ordered by our history teacher to make a trench out of a cake. So. I went to the store and bought a couple of things and let's check the ingredients list. So we need gummy bears, butter, cocoa powder, a cake pan, flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, eggs, buttermilk, and hot water. So we got this item here, which is the gummy bears. We got some butter in a bowl. We got some flour here. We got some cocoa powder. We got a whole bag of sugar. Baking powder. Baking soda. I am not sponsored by these products, just to let you know. A cake pan. A mixing bowl, which is an ingredient. It's at least what you make during the making of this. Eggs, as uh, you can see here, these are uh, pretty fresh eggs. What else do we need? Salt. Got some pure sea salt. Buttermilk. It's not, it's not anything related to butter, but it's just called buttermilk. This is the low fat one, but... I don't think it would matter. I don't think we need milk quite yet, until a little bit later. Okay, so right now we will be making the cake batter. And let's see what we need first. Rub butter around the pan and use cocoa powder and slide it around the pan. Using my hands gonna using this is gonna take forever, so there we go. I think that's uh enough butter. It's actually a lot of butter. A lot more than we need. It's gonna be a huge cake, isn't it? So now we're gonna Use um, some flour to rub it around here so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna wash my hands off real quick. Okay, 
so I guess we might be using cocoa powder because we don't want the flour taking away the, the color of it, I mean. So I'm just going to pour this around. See if this would work. Hopefully it does. It's the last hopes I have. Okay. Uh, what's next? Get a separate bowl and follow the instructions below. Three cups of flour. Okay. Just gonna leave that over there for now. That's about two and a fifth cup of flour. Let's add a little bit more. It's about a cup of flour right there. All right, so got the flour ready. It was quite smooth. Three cups of sugar. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. There we go. That's uh, two cups of flour. Oh, this is the sweetest thing I've ever cooked. That's actually a lot of sugar. Oh, don't mind the people speaking in the back. You don't need to know who they are. They're just people that uh, cooking with me in the kitchen. That's all I'm going to tell you. So right now we got our uh, flour and sugar. Uh, one and a half cups of cocoa powder. Kind of went a little bit cheap and bought the, bought the Starbucks one. But hey, it's whatever. Still works well, so... There, mix is in with the cake. So we got flour, sugar, cocoa powder, uh, one tablespoon of baking soda. One and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Tablespoon. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of salt. Well, that's, uh, that's a little bit too much salt, so... Okay, that's enough. And uh, start whisking the bowl to combine it. So, I'm gonna mix this. You can over mix it if you want. It's just um, it's just powder, so it's nothing much to worry about. Start whisking the bowl to combine it. Next is wet ingredients. Four eggs. So that's one egg crack. There's another one. Oh wow. Went over my jacket. Third egg. And fourth egg. I'm gonna wash my hands again because it's quite sticky. So right now, after the eggs, one and a half cups of buttermilk. One and a half cups of hot water. Okay. One and a half cup of vegetable oil. That's a little bit too much. Okay. And and then don't over mix and use a spatula. Okay. Starting to come together a little bit nicely. You don't need to waste money on the food mixer. You can just do it by hand. Push it all in with the spatula. It's 
smells pretty good so far. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. So right now, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to transition this thing into this uh, little cake batter thing right here. And we're going to bring it to a bake. So right now, uh, we're going to pour this thing into this. So let me move some stuff here. And roll up my sleeves. And then just slowly pour. Wow. Look at that consistency. Okay, we're just going to cut it off at the sun. And uh, we have our cake batter here. Looks good. So right now we're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to take some stuff out of my oven to clean it. And uh, we're going to cook this thing. So it's time to put this thing into the oven. And uh, we'll come back in about... We'll keep checking on it. Okay, so while that cake is cooking in the oven, we're going to proceed to be making the frosting. So, let's see. Cake frosting, one ounce of cream cheese. So we got our cream cheese and our uh, butter. So uh, we're going to mix this. It's a little hard to mix. Okay. So what we need now is... One and a half cups of cocoa powder. That's just about the amount of cocoa powder I'm pouring in. I'm not going to go ham on it since I want the texture to be a little bit uh, brown. Let's give it a little bit more. A little rough at first but um what else do we need some powdered sugar so about two cups of sugar okay that should be enough that's about one and a one-third cup of sugar it's quite a lot already so I'm gonna mix this. Just with a little bit of mixing, we made some cake icing. Okay, now we're finished with the batter of the cake. Cake is still cooking in the oven. Still not finished yet, so um, I guess we'll give it a little more. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes since the cake is in the oven. So right now we are going to take it out. So, uh, we got the cake right now. I can't touch it because apparently it's, uh, very hot. So, uh, so, with a toothpick method, you just put a little toothpick in, and nothing comes out. So, apparently this is a good cake. It's actually looking really well. So, this is gonna sit for another 10 minutes, so, uh, I think we'll come back in about 10 minutes. So right now, um, 
we got the cake to cool down. It's not as hot anymore. So right now, uh, I know this might ruin the cake, but then it's part of the project. So we're going to put some gummy bears into this. And uh, we're going to cut some holes like a, like a trench. So we're going to start like this. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, just cutting a hole into this. So this right here is going to be the trench. And let's try scooping this out. So right here is going to be the trench. I'm going to put some gummy bears in it. How do these taste? So pretty good. So uh, since we got the frosting, I'm going to slowly pour the frosting out and uh, mix it. Okay, so right now I'm going to put some gummy bears on the trench. So uh, that's bear number one. He's dead. Bear number two, he's to dead as well. Uh, this is one bear. I'm going to stick it in there. There's a trench right there. And uh, the soldiers are walking through in the mud. This concludes the, the project, I guess. Gonna put something in here. Let's see how it tastes, though. Gonna put some soldiers in there. And then there's some soldiers up there. They're not dead, they just look dead. And there we go. That's the trench case.